Creating Reports Introduction to PROC Report There are some basic procedures that we have used in this class to display data and give descriptive statistics. These procedures are PROC PRINT, PROC MEANS, and PROC FREAK. And these procedures allow for all sorts of statistics and data displays, but there are some limitations to these. With these procedures, it's hard to organize data into a meaningful report. So SAS has some special reporting procedures that provide similar results to PROC PRINT, PROC MEANS, and PROC FREAK, but also allow you to combine different types of analyses and have more control over how you can display these results. One of the procedures that helps to organize data into a meaningful summary report is called PROC Report. PROC Report shares some features with the procedures that we're familiar with, PROC PRINT and PROC MEANS. It also shares some features with PROC TABULATE that we will also be discussing this week. The general syntax for PROC Report is PROC Report and then you have to include the option no windows or the letters N-O-W-D and this option is an instruction to SAS not to enter the interactive windows editor after you run the procedure. So when we're working with SAS on the PC we don't want to enter into the interactive window. And then you have a column statement which is similar to the var statement in PROC PRINT. So instead of having a VAR statement where you list your variables, when you're using PROC REPORT, you're going to use a COLUMNS statement instead. The type of data you have is going to determine the type of report that SAS is going to generate. So if you're dealing with character data, and if there's one or more character variable, then the report is going to appear as one row per observation, which is what we see when we do a PROC print. If your report is done on all numeric variables, then PROC report sums each variable, even the dates. And there are other statistics that are available and that can be requested with PROC report. So when we're dealing with numeric data, PROC REPORT does not show one row per observation if just the numeric variables are listed. Another statement that you can use in PROC REPORT is the DEFINE statement. And the general syntax for the DEFINE statement is you have DEFINE and then the variable. So you have one DEFINE statement for each variable and then a slash and you can select some options. For example, you can give a column header that you want to appear in the PROC report for that particular variable. So if you have a variable such as age group, spelled A-G-E-G-R-P, abbreviated, you can make a column header that's age and then separately group. So you're actually giving a label to that variable within PROC REPORT. Another thing you can do with the option statement is if it's a numeric variable, you can attach a format to it. So you could attach a 6.2 format so that when PROC REPORT prints out that variable, the format will show with just two digits to the right of the decimal point. Also, you can assign a column width to your variable. And then there are some other options to make the table more attractive. These options include the headline option, which underlines headings, the head skip option, which puts a blank line between the heading and the data, and spacing to space the columns. And these options go right on the PROC report statement. And one of the cool things about PROC report is this statement called compute which allows you to create new variables within PROC REPORT. To create a new variable in PROC REPORT you use the define statement with the option computed after the slash. And then you have a compute statement 
which uses that new variable name followed by some programming statements such as if then else statements or do loops and then you end the computation of the new variable with the statement ncomp. And so what's happening is let's say you had a numeric variable such as age and for the purpose of that report you wanted to create age group. You could do that right within PROC report. However, the variable age group that you create within PROC report is not going onto your data set. It's just going to be used for the purpose of creating the report. So now view the SAS demonstration video PROC report where you will see a number of examples of reports that can be generated from this procedure.